At this point, we're going to open up all the files we downloaded from the Dota 2 Workshop website and set them up properly for use in Modo. So come over to the File menu, File, Open, navigate to the directory um, of your downloaded files. In this case, I downloaded the Necrolite files. This is the Necrolite folder. And go through Models, Heroes, in this case Necrolite, and the FBX folder. Select all of your different scenes, press Open, and the, the standard FBX load options are just fine. That's all you need. And just say no to all your images. You really don't want all the images uh, automatically loaded because it identifies them as .vtf files and we can't load those anyway. So um, as you can see, I've loaded multiple scenes here in the item list. If I select this scene up here, the Necrolite weapon or shoulders or head, I can see all these different scenes as I select them. And also I can toggle their visibility so I can see all the different scenes at once, even though I'm really only working and this scene currently. I can't grab any of this stuff over here. It's a really cool way of working. So I'll go ahead and shut all these other scenes off and select that sickle model. Now come over to the shader tree and you'll see inside the shader tree um, compared to the last video, um, it, you know, kind of showing you uh, an overview of Moto, a lot of stuff is missing from this and that's just because of the FBX files that you download. So right click on that material, delete it. We just don't want it anymore. Get rid of it. Add layer, special, render output, Right click on that, duplicate it, alpha, check out the settings um, or the uh, render output menu. Make sure the output gamma for both of those, uh, for alpha is one and for final color, you're gonna wanna change that to 2.2 and uh, it's really for rendering, which you're not really gonna do with this file, but still. All right, so we got those outputs there and we also probably wanna add layer special shader grab our render outputs, put them up above, and add layer material. And now we have everything set up the way it would be. With our items selected, go ahead and press the M key for material, name that sickle. And now we have a sickle material that's been created underneath our new base shader that we created. And inside of that, we can go ahead and come over to select the material, come over to add layer, image map, and load image. Now come back to that root folder for your character and go through the material SRC. Uh, folder, Models, Heroes, in this case, Necrolite. And let's open up all four of the images associated with the Necrolite weapon, because that's the, the, the file we have open right now. So Necro weapon underscore color, underscore mask one, mask two, and normal. Open those. Now it only opened up the, or added the normal, but here in the clip spin, or uh, the clips uh, tab, you can see all the images have been loaded into Moto. So add layer, image map, clip browser, and we can add those images um, and, and so we really don't need the mask one on mass two. Um, again, I am not going to go into great detail as to, um, how to use those just yet. Cause we're going to talk about that later, but yeah, you want them loaded up anyway. So let's come down to the normal map image, right click over its effect and come down to surface shading normal. And now it's effect is set to normal and you can see come out of item mode. So it's not selected. It's normal map is showing up as it should. Very nice. All right, excellent. Now, one thing about normal maps um, from source. Now, you need to come down here and invert green, and that's gonna give you the correct direction for the normal. And so this is correctly organized as opposed to this. This is actually inverted from the way it's supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to be. So this is something you're gonna to need to keep in mind as you're creating assets. Make sure the green channel is inverted inside of Modo for normal maps. All right, so now we've got this object set up with a normal map and a diffuse color. Turn off your mask one, mask two, and go ahead and save that on out, save as, come back to the um, Necrolite, Necrolite folder that has the FBX folder, create a BLX folder, and save that out as BLX files, which is the file format that Moto uh, Steam Edition uses. Save that on out, and we can come back over to the item list and do the same for all the rest of the FBX files and reload them as .blx and I'll join you once you've done that.